everybody, it's Jerry and Kathy and and Sunny and Sunny and this is our social distancing episode of Cooking with Jerry and Kathy. I hope everybody's having a fun weekend, staying at home, not spreading the coronavirus around to everybody. But since it's St. Patrick's Day weekend in Ocean City, tell us what you're cooking today, Kathy. So today I'm cooking a vegetarian Guinness Irish stew. Vegetarian Guinness Irish stew. I'm not drinking Guinness and Kathy didn't buy a whole six pack of or 12 pack of Guinness, no, I but got, she just got a I got one of the big 20 16 ounce, ounce Guinness actually, to work 22. with, unfortunately. So uh, show us what we're gonna do, Kathy. Okay, so you're really supposed to use a slow cooker, but I have a pot that actually um, browns things and then you can just put everything in and it slow cooks it but if you don't have one of these you can brown everything in a pan and then put it in a slow cooker for about six five six out so hours sorry what are air ingredients um so i'm gonna put my olive about two tablespoons of olive oil in here and i already had this kind of turned up what temperature do you put it on enough to brown which I don't know, I have it on about 300. Okay, so you wanna use about three stalks of celery, um, maybe a cup of mushrooms. I use the Baby Bellas because they're my favorite. And I'm gonna put those in. And then a small onion, about a teaspoon of uh, garlic. I just used the minced garlic already. And then a half a teaspoon of pepper, just black pepper. And then you're just going to brown this up really good. And it'll probably take about 10 minutes um, to brown it really good. Yeah. It's been about 10 minutes. Our uh, celery and onions and mushrooms are nice and brown. And I did add a little bit more oil just because they were drying out. So after they're nice and brown, you want to take a fourth a cup of flour. This is just regular white flour. And then you want to put this in. You want to get the vegetables all coated. That's okay if it starts kind of, it starts sticking to the bottom because those little bits are what gives it flavor. I'm kind of just scraping the bottom to get the, the flour that's hardening. You can see what it looks like. The, the flour's starting to brown a little bit. And actually, if you can see on the bottom, when I pull it away, the bits of, of flour that have kind of stuck, that's where all the flavor is. So you wanna make sure you continue to scrape that off the bottom. Once it's nice and coated like that, I'm gonna take our Guinness. You want that? And pour it in. And it only called for uh, 16 ounces and this is a 22 ounce bottle. So I'm kind of a little bit more and then I'll save the rest for dairy. Yay. Right? <laughs> All right. And then you want to again take your flat and scrape all the flour bits off the bottom. So you're using like a flat spatula? Yes. Like a flat wooden spatula? Yes, because you want to scrape all those bits because that's where all the flavor went. The flour kind of absorbs the flavor. And then once you have your Guinness in there, you can kind of just add everything else. What is everything else? Okay. So. Everything else is. I'm kind of. I'm gonna start with the uh, the liquid ingredients. So I have um, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I'm just gonna put in. Ooh, Dijon. That's fancy. That fancy is mustard. Fancy. It's got white wine in it. My favorite. <laughs> just kidding. And then three tablespoons of tomato paste. I just use whatever I could find at the grocery store yesterday because 
They were out of everything. You mean the grocery stores were out of everything? Yes. Did we find toilet paper? Uh, I went out and got that earlier in the week. How much toilet paper did we get? 35 rolls? 37 rolls? I don't know. That should last a weekend. Okay, so um, and then you want to take vegetable broth. I use organic okay. stock. Put that in. And just to let you know, for any miners that will be consuming this, the alcohol does cook off. You're not gonna get uh, wasted from eating my Irish stew. Uh, a teaspoon of paprika. Paprika! Um, a couple bay leaves. Once again. And of course, after the stew is all finished, you wanna take those bay leaves Yeah, out. don't eat them. Well, you would know if you took a bite anyway. You'd be like, Whoa. Um, two teaspoons of brown sugar. And is that it? I think we've pretty much covered. And then you can go ahead and add our spinach. How many? Stir that really is good. that carrots and? Yes. Yeah, so um, carrots, I cut up three large, actually four large carrots. I'm going to put those in. And my potatoes in. Looks good, you wanna see it? And I think we've got everything. And then I'm gonna come over here. And because I am not using meat, but I want some sort of protein in here, I'm using lentils. Um, you can use dry ones, just soak them first. But I like the organic um, lentils in a can. So I'm just gonna put those in. So oh, it's looking good right now. Since it's at a slow cooker, I'm gonna turn this all the way down to warm. And how long are we gonna let it cook for? About six hours. About six five, hours. Five or six hours, yeah. Until your vegetables are soft, like your carrots and stuff are soft, and also you want it to be stew. So you want it to be a little bit thicker than that. And so. it will thicken as it cooks. So do you think it's ready now? Yes. Uh, it's been cook cooking about five hours. Looks good. Actually, it looks really good. Um, I also made just some Jiffy Corn muffins to go mm. with it. Jerry loves them. So let's see if we can try it out. So uh, it's been five hours and your the Irish Irish Guinness stew. Guinness stew is ready. Yeah, vegetarian. What do, think, what do you think of it? It's delicious. And the corn muffins are good too. Can I try some? What do you like? Carrots? Whatever. Mmm, that's good. Thank you. It is good.